<clears throat> hey, Blue! Dude, Matt! This is amazing! I'm making nachos in my nuclear-powered air fryer. Anyway, I was, I was about to munch on this before the keynote. What's up? What's up? Is that this is the keynote. We're, we're live streaming to Unreal Fest right now. Dude, you're live. Oh yeah, look at that. You people in your time zones. Hey, Chatterbox, can you turn it down? Like way, way down. I'm about to do a keynote. Yo, so what's up, Unreal friends? Today is huge, guys. Today is the biggest announcement by Epic Games and the MetaHumans. And we have saved the biggest announcement for last. We have updated the Unreal Engine license to include MetaHumans. You can use them everywhere, in every engine, in any creative software. Go make amazing characters and help define the future of digital humans. So MetaHumans are now available within the engine in Unreal Engine 5.6. Unreal Engine 5.6 has been released and with it come an incredible set of uh, like features. And the biggest announcement was that the, the MetaHumans are now available to to use in any other tool, which is incredible because before it was restricted to the Unreal Engine, but now whatever MetaHumans that you create in the Unreal Engine, you'll be able to use it in other tools. And uh, they've actually released a MetaHuman plugin for Maya. You can also edit the uh, expressions and improve on the quality. But before it was just Maya, but now they've expanded it to other you know, programs and DCCs. And then they've added uh, Nanite for vegetation, which is amazing. They showed this incredible game demonstration of how this like environment was created and you can see how like the geometry is actually looking realistic because they are no longer just using cards they're using actual geometry and then voxels <laughs> it's amazing what they've done in terms of uh, making sure that the performance is great and I think for me, I've been waiting for the metahumans that coupled with uh, an improvement with the environments is amazing and some of the cool features, of course, I was happy to see Matt Workman and Corey, you know, demonstrate Blue as a metahuman. So get this, for the first time ever, you're seeing me live in real time. This isn't pre-recorded. It's not baked. You're seeing everything as it's happening. <laughs> and it's all thanks to MetaHuman Animator. Just check out my alter ego, Corey. He's down there on stage with you guys. And as you can see, our movements are mirrored within milliseconds. Even the smallest expressions are beautifully articulated. <laughs> ah, yeah. And look, he's not even wearing a helmet or a suit. I'm telling you, the possibilities are getting crazy. Now I can live chat with fans, take my stand up back on the road perform Macbeth? Okay, maybe not Macbeth. But the real truth is, the power of live performance is in all the happy accidents. Honestly, most of my best stuff happens when things go, you know, a little sideways. To see that in real time, using his body to drive the metahuman, but without the need of a, a motion capture suit, because you can see him on the screen here, he doesn't have a motion capture suit on. He's using a webcam and a uh, markerless technology to drive <laughs> the metahuman. And I think the ability to be able to, to add different types of clothing to metahumans has been a big deal. But guess what? In FAB right now, when you go to FAB and you go to the metahuman section, there are a bunch of other creators now who are making clothing for metahumans, which means even though in the metahuman creator, you only see one set of clothing, but my gosh, it, this opens up the whole world route. So many other people, many other artists who have been uh, just wanting to have diverse clothing for metahumans to be able to create it. Look at some of these new outfits that have been listed before, right? As I, I can't wait for this to be like covered with all manner of different types of clothing suits you know make much like sci-fi outfits and things like that so it's it's an i'm excited i'm truly truly grateful to epic games to continue to improve this uh tool this gaming engine that become that has become a filmmaking tool 
And I think seeing the, the demo that they did with the game, with the character interaction, and then seeing the, the muscle, like technology that is being used on the horse, you know, being able to just see how that reacts with the, the saddle and the physics behind it. And that, is, that being part of the control rig, this is incredibly groundbreaking. Before, I mean, last year, we when we did uh, the set of the Unreal, we could see some of the advancements, right, with the, uh, the deformer. But to see this in, included in a, a quadruped, you know, because before it was just thinking of our characters, but now they are extending it to quadrupeds and being able to pair that with a character, uh, and an animal to be able to mount and dismount and things like this. this is this is wild right in the rendering pipeline to be able to see the performance improvements in here man i can't wait to jump in and start creating different characters and different types of animals and environment so my guys <laughs> guys let me know what your favorite feature is in this launch of the unreal engine 5.6 and uh i can't wait to see the kind of characters that you make if you make uh clothing for meta humans and you are a, a seller on far please let me know so i can test out your outfits and then give a shout out and point to your products so people can buy it i am super excited <laughs> this is an amazing day you know what an amazing time to be alive you know we've been threatened by ai it is so refreshing to be able to have a tool where we can actually customize and tell our stories and you feel like you did something, you know, because being able to make, uh, customize the meta humans is a big deal. Be able to tell stories, being able to do cartoon characters and, you know, animals and things like that. And I'm looking forward to when character creator will be able to release their plugin so that we can then see the symbiosis between the Unreal Engine 5.6 and character creator 5, which is coming out uh, next month. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm excited to create new short films. I'll take you on a journey. I think this, there's a short film that I've been, or has been on my mind to create for a long time, but I think this makes it possible for me to do that. Thank you so much for my, what Matt Wackman and Corey. That was an amazing demo. Thank you so much for bringing Blue to life like that. And to see other developers and other companies embracing the Unreal Engine, I am really hoping that every storyteller out there, you, my fellow filmmakers, Unreal Engine fans, that you jump on this uh, train and try start creating your short films and content, and on put it on your YouTube YouTube channel or on your Facebook page or even TikTok. There are so many ways for you to take this content and make like content for either film for cinematics for like reels for short form content and long form and be able to make a living out of it start building your audience this is that that's my encouragement because now we have the tools that make it possible for that you know and this is free well, that's really cool <laughs> so up to a certain level it's i think once you start making a certain amount of money you, of course you have to pay for it if you're a student you can afford it at that point but for indie filmmakers, this is an amazing, amazing day. So thank you so much for joining me, guys. Uh, please spend a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And I'm going to do my best to continue sharing. If I find a nugget here and there, I'll do my best to share it so that you, we can share in the process on the journey of bring our stories to life. Thank you so much to all my patrons. I truly appreciate your support. Dare to dream big. And as always, guys, I'm praying for you. Please do not give up on your dream. Continue being that like effusive storyteller that you are and bring your stories to life. Don't let them stay in your brain. Bring them out. I mean, these tools, that's the reason they're using these tools to empower us to be able to create this. I'll see you on the other side in the next video. Much love to each and every one of you. <laughs> Bye for now. And if you're from, if you attended uh, Unreal Faced, I'd love to hear your experience of why you're down there. And uh, see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye for now.